So, Lance Mechanics here. If you're new to the channel, we'll talk about automotive related things. Um, today I want to talk about how long it takes to make a technician these days. And there's no right answer because everybody's different, but I still have this idea in my head. And I'm going to be straight off, right off the bat. I'm going to tell you it takes six to eight years now to make a really good automotive technician. And there's a reason. There's no, rep there's no replacement for experience. And it takes a long time to experience everything on a vehicle. Uh, it's like that thing, uh, you're told not to touch a stove, but you touch it anyways, because you just have to experience it. Everybody's touched a hot stove in their lifetime, or they've been burnt by one, and you all know that feeling. Well, automotive is a lot of getting burnt. Uh, you have comebacks, you do things wrong, you break bolts, it's getting burnt. You got to learn sometimes to do the wrong thing before you know how to do the right thing. And you can't cram that into into a short amount of time. It takes years and years and years to experience that. Uh, you never stop learning. Like, I, I cannot explain to the general public how insane it is. Uh, doctors, like, I'm not saying we're doctors. If I was a doctor, I personally have a lot of dead patients. Straight up. Uh, but, that being said, uh, the human body isn't really changing. I hope not. <laughs> It'd be a science fiction movie, but cars change every year. Every day, they completely change. Uh, new brands are doing new things. New models are completely redesigned. Uh, they all run on electricity. They all have hydraulics and engines and motors, batteries. But they all do things in different ways. They change positions. Uh, imagine going to your dog and finding out its heart's in its butt now. Uh, that's automotive. Like you, You've put something here for 20 years and you decided to move it over there. Now i got to change how I think and how I do this job. That's automotive in a nutshell. Cars are extremely complicated. Um, it used to be I didn't see technology like lane keep assist, LCAS, or, well, that's LCAS, uh, forward mitigation. Uh, what's the other one there when you change lanes there? I don't know, whatever. Uh, blind spot, parking sensors. You never used to see those in what I would consider a low-end brand like Hyundai. This Kona has every single option. Like heated, cooled seats, steering wheel. Like what's going on? You never used to see that technology in small little cars. They used to be more towards the high-end cars, but that's the way the industry is now, is that every brand has some type of technology out friggin' car. And it's interesting because I used to talk to my old co-workers when I worked in a bar. One guy was just like, oh, I want to buy the new Mazda because it has technology. I'm like, wait, you're, you're buying a Mazda for technology? Whoa, pump the brakes here, buddy. <laughs> Hold on. And he was he was so gung-ho. He was so horny for that car because it had all this technology. And this was about seven years ago. Mm, I don't think he has that car anymore. But it, it's only getting worse as uh, they're adding more and more stuff on here. Mm, it's not good. So that creates more issues because... It's a lot for someone coming just into the industry to learn. And if you don't have good mentors around you, it takes that much longer to get higher up there. And let's be honest, everybody in the automotive industry, you're kind of, we're kind of dicks. It is what it is. A uh, product of the system maybe, but it's just not a good industry uh, for any technician in it. Apprentice or mechanic otherwise. I strongly believe that. And I'll, I will continue saying that for every video. But... It's just so long. It takes so long. Like, uh, you can spend an entire year on air conditioning <laughs> and it can still bite you in the butt. Um, it, it gets tough. Or brakes or driveline vibrations, listening for components. Electrical, uh, that's a tough one. I believe I could teach anybody electrical. It takes time, though, because you need that experience. You want to show them something, but a car may not come in for months that's acting up. And... It, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. Uh, they're going to fry modules. Hopefully you're at a dealership where there's warranty. And if you got a private garage, yikes, um, just say it was broken. <laughs> it takes a long time to teach electrical. And there's some really good kids out there who are good at it. Uh, you just, it's something you have to be patient with. And a lot of employers are not patient with it. They'll, they'll always say, I want someone who's good with electrical. They'll say, I'm willing to, well, they're not going to pay for it. Let's be honest here. Uh, they just, they always say, I want someone who's good with electrical. I want somebody who's good with electrical. And, and I'm going to tell you hundred percent of the time, that's not what they want. They want somebody who can pump out brake jobs and gravy work super quick and with no comebacks. They talk about the electrical stuff because 
that's a cost to do in business. If you have a garage, you're going to get electrical jobs right now. And a lot of employers do not know how to bill for that. So they see it as an expense. You're, you're getting paid to diagnose, but because you can't bill it properly, you're now an expense. So as much as they want electrical, they are, they're straight up lying. It's impossible. They, I, I personally believe they don't want it. And that's tough. Very, very tough. All right, let's get focused here again. So I just turned the camera here because I'm going to tell you what experience is. And once you run into something, you just know better. Hyundais and Kias. You know how many times I've run into no starts on something so simple? You get in the vehicle, you're, there's no power. You have your grounds. Here's the tricker. Here's the kicker. You have your grounds and you have power. And you're just like, well, what's going on? Why is everything dead? This is experience. This is something you can't teach. So let's pause. So this is the ground to your battery. Uh, they paint it. You know how many times I've wiggled this and I've brought a car back to life on a Hyundai and Kia project product? That is something you cannot teach because even though you can get a ground, if you're testing your ground here, you're screwed. I always go elsewhere. You will still have continuity, but it can't carry amperage. That's experience. That's something you cannot teach someone until they see it. And something similar like that almost slowed me down the other day working on a jumbo. Uh, brakes wouldn't release and I had continuity, but it couldn't carry the amperage. There wasn't enough ground. So it's stuff like that you need to be exposed to. And it takes years and years of exposure to get to that point. And it's something employers don't want to do. Um, especially with apprentices, they want someone with 10 years of experience in three months. It's never going to happen. This industry, man, I'm telling you. I, if I were you and you're an apprentice, I'd be looking elsewhere. I'd go electrician, I'd go heavy equipment. I'd just get out of automotive in general. It's never too late. So yeah, uh, I think it takes six to ten, or sorry, six to eight years to make a fully qualified, confident mechanic. And it just, a lot of that is exposure. You got to expose them to the industry and the amount of stuff they're going to see. Um, I personally think this Kona is where we're going to basically hit the... The, the what do you call it crest they think it was, this is where technology is going to get as far as it can in as small of a package as you possibly can but uh we're not this vehicle is pretty new so you haven't seen a lot of the bs in diagnosing come coming yet and as i've torn this car apart there's a lot of things i noticed that would drive me nuts as a technician um sorry hyundai kia technicians you're gonna have a lot of trouble in the coming years not that you don't already so yeah made it this far in the video i'm lance mechanics uh like subscribe leave in a comment what you think i just know here in the rust northern canada six to six to eight years um there's a lot going on cars are just not making it easier on technicians or uh customer's wallet so yeah have a good one